हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ टू ऐड इमेजेस इनसाइड पीडीएफ डॉक्यूमेंट इनसाइड पीएचपी यूजिंग अ लाइब्रेरी कॉल्ड एस टीसीपीडीएफ टीसीपीडीएफ वी विल बी यूजिंग दिस लाइब्रेरी इन ऑर्डर टू ऐड इमेजेस यूजिंग द यूजर अपलोडेड इमेजेस यूजिंग अ सिंपल एचटीएमएल फॉर्म आउट देयर एंड इट्स अ पीएचपी पीडीएफ जनरेशन लाइब्रेरी इट्स ओपन सोर्स लाइब्रेरी आई विल बी फॉलोइंग दिस ब्लॉग पोस्ट आई हैव गिवन द लिंक ऑफ दिस ब्लॉग पोस्ट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो so first of all you need to ex uh, use this exam control panel start this apache server on this uh, port 80 number here i have already started this so you need to first of all create a simple composer.json file so simply follow this and create this composer.json file and simply paste this json code right here and basically this is the tc pdf library and here after do you do this you just need to install uh this library using the composer command here we will simply write here composer update we will simply write this command out there if i write this you will see on the right left hand side it will create this vendor folder and it will now contain all the dependency code right here of tc pdf you will see that it contains this auto load.php we just need to load this file here we will simply create a simple index.html file right here this will contain a simple html form right here with the help of which we can simply upload images for uploading images guys it's very simple we will be if you just go to the description of this video i have written a complete source code if you want the full source code so basically this is let me just write the html code for you so inside this we will have a simple form tag and basically the method here will be of post and the action will go to here insert image dot php so this will be the file and encoding type we will give at multi part form data and here inside this we will have a simple input field of type file and we will be giving a name attribute of it of image like this and here then we will have a simple submit button to submit the form and the value will be add image in pdf so simply close this so now if you just go to your local host uh, backup if i now go to we will now see a simple form out there you will see basically now we have a choose file button and we a simple button to submit the form and now if you choose a certain file here click on this you will now see the form doesn't submit because uh, we need to create this insert image.php so right here inside your file here we will simply create uh, insert image.php so you will see uh, we just need to write here index.html so we just need to make this file here which is insert image.php so right here we will be catching we will require it first of all we can also transfer it in the same file let's suppose i make a index.php so i have paste this code right here so now we will be writing the php code in the same file so we can simply remove this uh, sorry this needs to be action not accept so this needs to be action here just make sure that it is action so now if you see if you select a file you will see not found insert image.php so we we just need to create this insert image.php file right here and the very first thing we need to do we need to require that file which is stored inside the vendor folder that you see we downloaded using composer you will see auto load.php we just need to load this file so inside this php code here so the php blocks of code we need to require this file so require once so we just need to require it from the vendor folder so inside this we have the auto load.php file and then basically guys we will simply check if server and basically here we will check if the request method 
is double equal to post so here we will simply check that if the post if the method is post here then we will actually get the image file that the user has selected by using dollar files and we will get the temporary location like this so then we will simply use the move uploaded file method guys basically it moves the uploaded file to a new location so we will be uh, taking this from the temporary location and moving it to a permanent location which is image.jpg like this and then we will simply create a pdf document new tcpdf so now we will be simply first of all add a new page to the document so we will simply say that uh, add page so this will add a new page and now we, to add an image we will simply use the image method and here we will pass the full address of the image which is image.jpg then we will provide the x coordinate and the y coordinate and lastly in order to save the generate the output we will simply use the output method of tcpdf so this will generate the output in the screen so that's all this is our php script guys so now if i load this application if i now localhost backup if i go to the root directory choose an image file click you will see that it is saying not found Uh, let me see let me move this code in the same directory let me say backup slash insert image dot php So if you choose a file here, I think what we can do is that we can transfer this into a single file. So we can remove this action attribute and right here we can paste this code that you see right here. You can paste it inside index.php right here. So if I go to now here, localhost backup. So now you can see it is opened this uh, image file inside the PDF document. It only contains the one page right here. You will see that this is the first page. You can download this PDF document. Simply click on download and your PDF file will be downloaded and it contains the single image out there. You can see only a single page is there and you can even change this to let's suppose another image, this image. And now this image is contained inside this PDF document. So you will see that you can add any dynamic image inside your PDF document guys using PHP using this open source library which is tcpdf we have looked at step by step how basically we can first of all install this library and then generate a PDF document containing an image inside it using a dynamically selected images using a simple HTML form so all the source code is given in the description of this video guys step by step instruction is given and please hit that like button subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video